The topic of my presentation is honey, which is a sweet, nutritious, natural wonder. Uh, the next slide is about introduction. So honey is a sweet, wishy substance produced by bees from the nectar of flowers. It has been used for its uh, medicinal properties and as a sweetener for thousands of years. And now we are going to have a look at the types of honey. So honey comes in many different types and each type has its own unique characteristics. Some of the most popular types of honey include clover honey made from the nectar of clover flowers. This, is, this honey is light and sweet with a mild flavor. Mild flavor honey made from the nectar of various wildflowers. This honey can be a complex flavor profile and darker color. Manuka honey produced in New Zealand from the nectar of the manuka tree. This honey is known for its antibacterial properties and strong distinct flavor. Acacia honey are made from the nectar of the acacia tree. This honey is light and floral with a mild flavor. And then buckwheat honey made from the nectar of the buckwheat plant. This honey is dark and rich with a strong distinctive flavor. And now we're going to have a look at how honey is made. Honey is a natural product that is made by bees. The process starts when bees collect nectar from flowers using their long tongues. They store the nectar in their honey stomach when it mixes with enzymes that help break down the sugars and transform the nectar into honey. Now let's talk about nutritional benefits of honey. Honey is not just, uh, just a tasty treat. It also offers many health benefits. It contains a variety of antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, and enzymes that can help support the body's immune system, digestion, and energy levels. One of the primary benefits of honey is its high antioxidant content. Antioxidants are important compounds that can help protect the body from damage caused by free radicals, which are unstable molecules that can contribute to aging and disease. Honey also contains vitamins and minerals such as vitamin C, calcium, and iron, which are essentials for maintaining overall health. Now I'm going to talk about medicinal properties of honey. So honey has been used for its medicinal properties for centuries. It contains natural antibacterial and anti-inflammatory compounds that can help fight infection and reduce inflammation in the body. This makes it effective in treating a variety of health conditions, including wounds and sore throats. And moreover, honey's antibacterial properties can help prevent the growth of harmful bacteria in the skin and in wounds. It also has a low pH level, which can create an acidic environment that is inhospitable to bacteria. Now let's have a look at the culinary uses of honey. So honey is a versatile ingredient that has been used in cooking and baking for thousands of years. It is a natural sweetener that can add a unique flavor and depth to a variety of dishes. Honey can be used as a substitute for sugar in baked goods such as cakes, cookies, and muffins. It adds a rich sweet flavor that can help keep baked goods moist and tender. And honey can also be used in savory dishes such as marinades and salad dressings to add a touch of sweetness and complexity. And our last slide is sustainability and beekeeping. So as the demand for honey continues to grow, it is important to consider the sustainability of beekeeping practices. Sustainable beekeeping involves protecting the health of bees and their habitats, promoting biodiversity and reducing the use of harmful pesticides and chemicals.